The definition of resilience, in my opinion, is the ability to react in a proactive way. The ability to be uh, having solutions within the country that can help you and help others around you. And this is a lesson everybody learned, I believe, in the pandemic. Saudi Arabia is considered one of the largest countries spent in terms of the uh, healthcare sector. But uh, in reality, we depend on a lot of imports, and we import a lot of our medications and healthcare systems. When COVID-19 actually uh, emerged and, and came in, and all the things that we have been working or worried about actually became a reality. And from there, the acceleration started to start thinking about how we can localize the industry, how we can improve our clinical trial studies, how we can actually centralize all these uh, areas together so they can come and serve the purpose of giving uh, the, the country a better edge. Viruses and pandemics, as everybody saw, never uh, respect borders. The plan always was considering beyond the borders of Saudi Arabia because when you look at Saudi Arabia, the population here is between 34 to 35 million. But the positioning of Saudi Arabia as the custodian of the two holy mosques gives it a much bigger role beyond its borders. And there's a mass movement of Islamic tourism into the country that goes between 24 to 30 million a year. So this also came into developing the, this type of resilience and ability to serve and become part of the solution in the world and not only sitting in the line to, to get support from others. And so countries to develop a better resilience, they have to have the infrastructure ready. So the steps really have to have the healthcare system linked with the industry, linked with the academia, and all that system, if, if, it, if it's linked together in a, in a proper way, the results that the country will harvest and achieve is gonna be phenomenal. I believe today the, the technology that is emerging to the life science is, is, is moving very fast. And I believe countries today have to watch very carefully for these technologies. So you're going to have to design your platforms in a flexible way that can provide the country resilience because we're going to have to be ready for the next pandemic when it hits, not as a country only, but as a global system. Because what we have seen in COVID was a global solution. It wasn't a one country solution. But you don't want to be the, the country that is asking for a solution from others. You want to contribute to that solution. You want to add to that. You want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem.